so I was asked what are the key essentials to have as a journeyman iron worker so if you are a journeyman iron worker here are the basic things you're going to need and you don't have to have an expensive horners like I got if you're doing it a lot you'll want to have a good one you know protect your life because it is dangerous hanging the steel welding this iron in so here go are a couple things you want you a cheetah bar so all iron workers got to have my cheetah bar you want you a hard hat that connects to your well hood to your welding hood and you can be able to grind with it got a clear lance my personal opinion you should have your own stinger because a lot of companies have messed up stingers because people will drop them break them mess them up so having yours to get the job done faster better is always a plus and you can have your own hammer as you see, I got a nut weld on the back of this one where it can attach to to keep it from falling if anything um, happens where it won't hit the ground and I have a cable on it too. So, you know, you want you some good welding gloves. You want you one of these. These are very assets. So if you say you um, got to put a pull a bead together and it's tight, you can use this here, this cheater to use it to uh, pull the beam together though. That is an asset. Then you want your, your beam clamp. So I just keep it clamped on here, but I take it off when I need it. And I have a cheetah cable. So, see it here, that's my cheetah cable. Because I like to use the cable better than I like to use the uh, beam clamp. But the beam runner, but I, I use both of them. You want your welding bag. You want your good one. You want your um, crescent wrench and your uh, spud crescent. Oh, your spud crescent and your regular spud wrench. That's a plus. Then over here, as you see, it got you a bull pin. You want to keep you a good bull pin. That way you can be able to line the holes up, beat it in if needed. And I also got one of these pins too. It's just a line up. It kind of helps you line the hole up too. So this is the asset. You got your chimper hammer, and you see I got it on the cable, so if it falls down, it won't hurt nobody. So, that's pretty much a basic setup that you would need to get your hog on being a um, journeyman iron worker. To me, this is the smallest things that you can have. You know, you got your landers on there and, and everything, and I got double landers on mine. So, you just want to have everything that you need to be able to be safe and to get a bag. Hog on.